And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I came up with this top left design. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I'm using Canva and uploading to uh, Instagram. So let's get started. So the first thing I did is I went, I went to Canva and these are the designs that I've, well, not here. Canva saves all your, all your images. You see where I, I have three different designs, it's because they're three different sizes and I'll show you how to do that. Um, the first thing you want to do um, is create and you can do search. Or you can do, uh, like if you're doing work on a presentation, logo, t-shirt, poster, um, whatever. You can select what it is you're working on. But what I found to be easy, um, this has to do with pixels. So if you use something that's that's uh, like 300 by 300 or what have you, it's just an example. When you enlarge it, it's going to be pixelated. So what I have learned is it's best to use like a t-shirt size or just what works for me. I'm just going to get to the point. I don't want to drag this out. What works for me on everything that I discovered is 20, uh, 3,600 by 4,200. And now on the top left where it says resize, see I have it set at 36 by 42 pixels. I don't worry about nothing else. If I'm work, working on a mug, it's it gives you like a long printify. It'll tell you. <clears throat> what the image size has to be for that specific substrate. So to avoid going back and forth and trying to figure out what it is, well, what has been working for me, remember, I always say this, it works for me, may not work for you, but 3,600 by 4,200 pixels is what's been working for me for everything. So I'm not sure why I have... Three. I know I was playing around with it. I, everything that you see here is done from my cell phone. This is my first time hopping on a computer, so if I feel like I'm a little lost, that's why. Um, so here I'm going to click on resize. I'm just repeating what I did because um, I don't want to lose track. So I want to go back, top left. I hope I'm doing it right again. I do everything from my cell phone. Okay, yeah, so no, that was wrong. So anyway, it, everything you do is going to be stored. The third image where it says checkmate, that's the image I use to get the, I can do all things through Christ. The reason I like this is because this just gives me a point of reference, like it gives me an idea of what I want to do. When I first saw this, I just liked the, um, the, the, uh, the image, the logo, and I, I just thought about the uh, scripture, um, that I posted Philippians 4:13. I thought about that. So when I was playing with it, I uh, let me go back back to the real thing. So when I was playing with it, I uh, I wanted to remove the inside of the circle and I couldn't because it's one piece. So if I click on that and I click delete, see it's one piece and I only wanted the circle on the outside. But when I didn't get that, I said, okay, well, I don't need you then. So another thing I did is I tapped on the black square and I deleted it. Then I tapped on the letters and then this is totally different from my cell phone. On the top where the A is, I just colored it in black, clicked on the next piece, black, clicked on the next piece, black. Don't forget the lines. That black, and so what you do is you just uh, double tap the letters, and I typed in I can do all things, whoop, things, <clears throat> and I just clicked outside of it. The good thing about this, I'm using my fingers, is you can see the it has like snap, uh, I guess snap tools or snap tool, you see how, see that line? That's the center, 
And the little, I guess, press rate lines are, I guess, letting you know you're out of bounds. I'm not sure. You're out of the, the grid line. Or I don't know what it's called, snap tool. So because this square is already, it may not be. Yeah, see how it's 500 by 500? You do not want to say that. That's how I learned that uh, when I was posting some of my stuff, <clears throat> I noticed it, it would tell me on Printify that it was too small, that the, I'm sorry, that the image was, I forget what we, how it worded it, but anyway, it told me that it was going to be uh, pixelated, in other words. So what I did is I go ahead and make it 3600 by 4200. And I just click on copy and resize on that purple button. So when I save it, I don't have to worry about that I saved it to the right size um, or not, whether I saved it to the right size or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enlarge this, just stretch this, grab the corner, and just moving it with my finger. I want it bigger, so just grab the corner. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. And then here, double click and uh, type in through Christ. And then stretch it out. And the good thing about this is you see the circle? You can use that as a guide. And of course, I got to make it bigger. You see how the little snap tools are popping up? That's, that, that's kind of a guide to let you know whether it's centered or not. Of course, it needs to be a little bigger. And see how that'll help you. So it'll let you know if it's lined up or not. Just kind of play with it. Because a lot of the times, you know, we're eyeballing stuff. I'm going to put this at the bottom real quick. You see it's centered, so I'm going to let it, let it go. I'm going to grab this and make sure it's centered. Don't rely on it 100% because if you look to the left, see the eyes, uh, the eye is away from the white area. And to the right, the S is touching. So what you want to do is just shrink it a little bit to make it even. Right about there. And I'm going to have to make the Christ smaller. Just so that it's about the same size as the other or the top section in here is where you where this comes in handy the circle that's right about even okay and then the black lines all I did was I grabbed a little dot thingy whatever it's called and just stretch this out same thing here and you'll see a little line pop up watch right there and that tells you to stop just stop and then here double click I'm going to put a Philippians 4.13 and then <clears throat> you can see you, you got four corners and then you got the sides you grab the side and stretch it out you have the left side and then here, what you're going to do is you want to make the font bigger. So, again, I'm doing this from my desktop. So, click on the plus, I believe. Yeah, click on the plus one on the top. See the numbers changing? I'm just going to type in 340. Oops, 340. We're good. That's okay for now. And just line it up. I know it was bigger on my uh, when I was doing it on my cell phone, so I'm gonna leave it there. And I'm just tapping outside the uh, the white background. So next, you want to add text. So what we're gonna do is to the left, click on text. Actually, I don't know what font this is, so I'm just gonna click on that I can do all things. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on duplicate if I can find it. I think it's the plus sign. Yeah. 
I'm gonna shrink it. You know what? Delete. Sorry, I want something that's already straight. I'm gonna click on Philippians Plus on the top right. Move this up. Double tap. I'm gonna type in uh, who enter. Give me. Delete. 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 Tap outside the image. Then I'm using that yellow, that pink guide. And as you can see, it says it's a center and it looks off and it's because of the W. So, but we are centered. But again, like I said, don't rely on it 100% because you never know. Okay, now if you look to the left, see the eye? It's touching the, the uh, perimeter or the guideline inside who gives me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on um, I can I can do all things. I'm gonna have to shift it to the right. So I'm gonna click on it. See on the where's the little on that oh okay right above the right in between the I and the A on Philippians. There's a little I'm not sure what you call it a little swinger. Anyway, so let me go there. Well, that's not too bad, but because <clears throat> I have OCD, let me fix it. Just a little bit more. Crap. But anyway, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to keep going. So I'm going to click on Philippians again. I'm going to go to the top right here and click on the plus. Bring this down, double tap. And it's going to be straight. Oh my gosh, it says spell. Great. And then wait, did it delete? Tap outside. And then that looks about right. So and then what I did is just make sure I eyeball everything, make sure everything looks okay. Um we can probably move this up a little bit more. Make it look uniform and we also got a, a rotate it as well. A little bit. Okay, tap outside, and we're gonna see. Oh, oh come on! Truth. I'm gonna tap on strength because I'm gonna use that as a guide. Okay, so see the T's are okay. They're not. The right side needs to come down a little bit, but for the sake of the video, this is how I came up with my image. Philippians 4:13. So. Canva has a lot to offer. Um, I'm still learning it. There's so much you can do with it. A lot of the stuff that you see on here is on uh, my Etsy store. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time.